1959, Pope John XXIII announced the creation of the Second Vatican. It had been nearly 100 years since the Catholics have had a council like this. Two thousand to two thousand five hundred bishops, auditors, laymen, and nuns attended the four sessions at St. Peter's Basilica. This assembly settled doctrinal issues where sixteen documents that laid the foundation of the church were formed. During the time of the Vatican, America mourned the death of Marilyn Monroe. Um, John F. Kennedy promised to send a man to the moon. Nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. And the whole came to the presses. Vatican II was started on October 11, 1962 by Pope John XXIII. It ended on 1965 by Pope Paul VI. During the 50s and 60s, the world was faced with a time of war and turmoil. The Cold War came after World War I and II. The church needed to address this problem of non-peace and violence. The political leaders and the political leaders were sponsoring atheism. In Vatican II, they addressed relations between the Roman Catholic Church and the modern era, and some issues they discussed was the dogmatic constitution on the church. The outcome of the Vatican is the priests now face the congregation. Mass is now said in the spoken language, and the church considered Jews to be brothers and sisters instead of enemies. attendance included Pope Benedict XVI. And Blessed John Paul II. Pope Francis is the first Pope who did not attend the Vatican as a bishop. thousands of Romans. However, the media spread the announcement all over 